The past two years, dealing with the pandemic introduced a host of new challenges, from loss of jobs to inflation to one not easily seen, vehicular homelessness. Hello and thanks for joining us live at 6. I'm Dave Corbassier. And I'm Trisha Keen. That new challenge has forced many people to call their cars home. And reporter Alicia Patillo is joining us live from Summerlin with a look at this growing problem. Alicia. Dave and Trisha here along State Route 159, just outside Summerlin, there's a problem. Residents tell us people are parking and living inside their RVs, vans, and vehicles. It's illegal, and there's even no parking signs, and now residents are concerned. Jeremy Kelly walks out of his Summerlin home and sees RVs parked along his street. He wonders what's going on. Well, first, are they visiting someone? Because I'm not trying to, like say, OK, are they the bad guy? But at the same time, I'm trying to figure out, OK, hey, wh what is your purpose here? After several months, he realized these visitors are uninvited guests. And what we've noticed as residents and myself specifically, multiple incidences where uh, RVs, recreational vehicles, uh, sedans and SUVs show up in the neighborhood unannounced. They leave trash, debris, you know, cooking, having grill outs, uh, you know, they're drinking our alcohol. Kelly shared these pictures and videos with 13 Action News, showing RVs parked along State Route 159, an access road to Red Rock Canyon, and right behind his Summerlin neighborhood. In fact, Kelly says from his own backyard, he can see the RVs lining up, staying overnight sometimes longer. Kelly says these same RVs often come and park on his street, but they aren't headed to the National Conservation Area. Between September and early May, they're here in full force now, especially after our pandemic. There is a slew of individuals that, yes, unfortunately lost their homes, lost their jobs. They've moved into vans. They, they're living out of their vehicles. Others are taking notice. Katrina Grigsby Thetford, director of Nevada Homeless Alliance, says the problem is nothing new here in the valley. But the pandemic and inflation magnify the vehicular dwelling issue. Due to, um, you know, COVID and the housing crisis increasing and loss of employment that uh, their only option is to, to live in their car. Um, a lot of these individuals uh, do have work and they're low income, but don't make, make enough money to afford rent. As far as the law goes, the city of Las Vegas told 13 Action News it's illegal to live inside your RV or vehicle on a residential street. If they find a violation, code enforcement officers will come out and assess the situation, possibly issuing fines and fees. Now, Nevada Homeless Alliance tells me they are here to help. So if you're residents living in the area and you notice uh, RVs or vehicles living on their on your street, you should contact their organization. The center has outreach groups ready to assist those in need of shelter uh, just outside Summerlin. I'm Alicia Batillo reporting.